Hello everybody, my name is Beth and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I wanted to let y'all know the progress that I've made on Woodland Castle by Design Works. Um, I have, was supposed to be doing this area, particularly right here, and I did not get finished because I had other engagements I had to do and this is, I just want to show y'all that I'm not finished. Yeah, my progress, my very slow progress. So this is what I have. It's not much at all. I was doing it and then I got frustrated because right here, um, the end started fraying. So I had to uh, sew it. So I sewed it in black so y'all could see that I actually sewed the in the edges of my work because I was afraid it was going to go all the way up here and then wouldn't and all of these stitches would fall out and I was just afraid about that. So what you can see or what I see, I don't know if you can see it, but what I see is that the tail is forming for the squirrel, if you can see that. And the um the flowers are forming pretty good. So I also want to tell y'all that I'm sorry my phone is so are my camera's shaky. I'm using my phone. I've used all my phone for all my videos and my phone is a little heavy too heavy for the stand that I have right now. So I had bought one and it's going to be here on Saturday. It's supposed to be one of those stand up ones. I think it's it looks pretty cool on the internet, so I'm going to see if it works. It was pretty cheap to buy on Amazon. So anyways, this is kind of what I've been doing this week. I'm gonna show you a couple of other things that I have been doing specifically for my floss tube and my cross stitching, uh, just so y'all know, okay? So I have been making bags. I have been in the process of making, uh, you know, those, some people have these, uh, these project bags and well, I wanted them, but I don't, I don't really know how, where to buy them. And I heard they were expensive to buy. So I had all of these fat quarters. I, I had all of these fat quarters already I had bought from Hobby Lobby and Walmart and I had decided that hmm what am I going to do with these fat quarters anyways but make project bags so that's what I'm going to do with all of them I got two Christmas ones I've got rainbows and so looks like arrows and unicorns and of course I have a dinosaur one somewhere around here oh there it is dinosaurs my, my son loves dinosaurs and I have I just got a whole bunch and I thought they were pretty cool when I bought them I had a project and as projects go sometimes they don't exactly work out as you think they should so uh so yeah that, that's what I did I'm making project bags out of the stuff because I needed to use it and now I'm going to use it on that all right, so I'm actually going to update y'all on the next section. I'm going to finish this section. In the next section, I'm going to update every Thursday on this particular cross stitch. This is this is going to be a Thursday thing. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show y'all also what I'm going to be planning for this next Tuesday. Move that out of the way. On my cross stitch episode nine, I wanted, I was taking this out and I was showing everybody it. It's called The Chapel of Hope by Jenin Needlecraft. And I was going to, on Tuesday, do a stitch along. So basically, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to start in the middle because. One of my subscribers, Zeb in, in Z, is suggested that I start in the middle 
instead of starting on the outside like I was planning on. And I think that's a great idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm going to go from there. Uh, hopefully it, my camera or my, my stand comes in on Saturday like it's supposed to and, and then I'll be able to get to do that with y'all. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do it live but because I right now am not sure my phone can handle that because uh, I don't have an actual camera. I just have my phone. That's what I've been doing all my videos on. Okay, so I put this project in this project bag that I had finished. Uh, and as you can tell, it's actually a pretty big project bag because, you know, that's actually a pretty big, big piece of paper and my needle goes right there right in that project so I think that's pretty cool and I put the other project in this bag I know it's Americana bag trust me I know um but I hadn't finished any of the other bags yet and I wanted to show y'all what what kind of sewing I do um y'all I, I don't know how to use a sewing machine. I had tried my hardest to use a sewing machine. It didn't work. All of this is sewn by hand. Everything I sew is by hand. It looks neater and finer than it would it would have if I would have sewn with a sewing machine. I'm not really good with sewing machines at all. I had to look in the instructions and try to rebob my sewing machine and let me tell you I cannot figure it out it's so difficult and it I know it's not everybody because I know a lot of people use sewing machines it's just me I know it's me I cannot do it properly so what I'm saying it all I'm saying is that I am doing this I am doing my own bags and I'm doing this all by hand. So it might take me a while. It it took me about, let's see, uh, about a day to make one of these bags. So I'm thinking it might take me, you know, this will probably be a week's worth of stuff. But I'm not going to do it all at once because, well, one, I don't need them all at once. And then two, I have other projects to do. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm just letting y'all know what's what's going on with my life. Uh, I will go ahead and talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. And please like and subscribe if y'all want to have any more. Um, if y'all want to, uh, if y'all like my channel. And if y'all want to see some more videos. Thank you. Bye.